Hello and welcome to another ICT lesson. Today we want to look at how JavaScript coding can be used to create calculators which run on web pages. And I'm going to design a simple calculator as we can see here. It is a calculator which only takes two numbers, multiply them and show the result when the button is clicked. Uh, the button is blue in color, as you can see here, and the result is shown below the label written result. This is very simple. It is not difficult, and anybody can make it so long as you know how to do basic JavaScript coding commands. I will go ahead and start Notepad, and I'm going to create a simple web page. Then finally, I will add JavaScript to the uh, web page HTML code to make it be able to calculate numbers. To, to start Notepad, you go to the computer's search box on the desktop and just type Note. Then you can see it is selected here. You just come here and click it. Now on my notepad you can see here, uh, the first thing you are supposed to do is to create a code which create a page and that is basically the HTML tag. That one opens the web page and you close it down here with slash eh? like that. Now it is closed. The second thing now you split this web page into two pieces, the head and the body. So I will use the head tag. And close the head tag here. Then I will start my body tag here. And close my body tag. Now I will go ahead and insert in my body here. Hmm? We, we have head here. I want to insert in my head title. Then inside my body, I want to insert, insert a heading or the title for the calculator. To insert the title of the page in the head, use the title tag. And I will just call this uh, Java script calculator then i will close the title tag again in html language we always open and close things like that so this line of html code creates the title for the page then i will come to the body of the page and i put the title for the calculator using h1 h1 is is heading level one you use it to make a bold big heading for 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 the web page so i can just uh, write multiplication calculator so i will go ahead and save this uh, on the desktop. I will create a folder here. Let me call it calculator. And press enter. Then open the folder. I, I want to give it the name calculator. You can give it any name. But so long as at the end of that name you are giving, you put dot html. That is the only way it will change to become a web page. Now, if I can minimize this. Now you can see on the desktop here, I have my folder with the page for the calculator. I will open the folder. Now you can see the calculator web page can now be open in Chrome because it is a web page. I will double click it so that you see what will be shown. You can now see 
uh, when I run my page in Chrome, the, the title JavaScript calculator appears here, and the title for the calculator, the heading is shown here. So I will go ahead and switch back to my notepad and show you how we can do the rest. So the next thing I want to do, I want to create a, a label and a text box. So I will just come here and write here number one. So I write here number one like that. Then I will insert my text box. Input type text. If you don't write input type text, it will not know whether you want to make a text box. So you have to put input type text. Then uh, I will just copy this line. Control C on the keyboard. Then Control and V to paste it. Eh? Then I'm going to change this to number two. And I will change this. Uh, I will just put a a break here to create space between the text box the two text boxes then i will put another break here to end the movement of this line so i want to break it here then after breaking i'm also creating a space then i want it to create the second text box then uh, I will also put a break here, like that, and also put a space here, and I will create a button now. To create a button, uh, you just use input, but this time type is submit. For the button, the type is not text, it is submit. Like that. Then um, a button normally ha ha has a value or a label on, on it. So you, I will write here value equals, then I give it text which should be shown on the button. So in this case, I will just write multiple. Just like that. Then these two text boxes, the, the one for number one and number two, I give them names using the ID. You just write ID, then equal sign, then in quote, give it a name like I can give this number one. Then the other one, just come here, space, ID. I can give this number two like that. These names are important because we will refer to these names in our JavaScript code. I will click here and save and I will run my page. I will run this page by refreshing it so that you see what will happen. You can now see when the page is run how the text boxes appear and the button appear here. This button has no action. So the next thing I want to do is I want to put the label here. The answer is so that when the, the calculator has calculated, the answer will be shown below this button. So I will go back to my HTML tag, tags and come to below this button. This is the code for the button. I will put BR to create a space between the button and the answer to be given. After putting a single line space, I'm going to put a paragraph and the, the paragraph will be answer is, is to introduce the answer and close that paragraph. So I have simply closed the, uh, the paragraph with the closing paragraph tag. Below this paragraph, I want to create an empty paragraph 
which will be showing the answer. So I'll put here P. Then just close P. What is the meaning of this? It means it is a paragraph with nothing between. What will be appearing in between here is the answer from the JavaScript calculation. I will give this empty paragraph a name using ID because I will refer to it in the JavaScript code. Let me just call it as like that. I will now save and now uh, refresh my page so that how you see how it appears. Now I will go back to my code and I want to write the JavaScript code for the calculator. And we said very well an action on the web page is also called function. And functions represent the action such as multiplication which we want to do. So to write JavaScript, you will st I will go to my below my title here and write here script. And I will close the script below like that. Then I will click this and save. Now inside here, I want to write that action which we call function. In JavaScript, we call them function. Any action is called function. And they have names. So in this case, I will just write here function. Then the name my calculator you can give it any name in my case i'm just calling it my calculator then i put a bracket like that opening curly brackets and closing curly bracket like that so i will save this so it means i have i'm creating an action called calculator or a function called calculator this word you have to put it the way it is this one you, have, you can put any name. So the first thing I want to do, I want to get my value from this num1, from this text box called num1. I want to get a value there and put it in a variable. Okay? A variable is just a memory location which is used to store values. Eh? And they have names. So in this case, I'm going to create a variable called 1. Or, or let me just call it first. I'm going to create a variable, a variable called first because it will pick it from first text box. I have two text boxes, first one and second one. So the value from the first text box will be saved in a variable called first. So I'll just put equal sign document dot get element by id okay so i'm telling uh, my computer to go to a document and look for an element with this id so i'm going to copy paste this id Control c and i'm going to put it here using quotes i put quote paste the name of id then put quotes then i'll put dot value okay and close my line eh? it means i'm going to to this ID and picking a value from it and saving it in first, which is a variable. Same, create another variable called second and go to your document dot get element by ID. And this time that I want this value from this ID, so I'll copy it, Control C, then come here, Control V, and close that bracket dot value. Close quote. So we are going to an element with the name num2. We are picking its value and saving it in the second variable. Then the last variable I want to make. You make variables by putting the word var before the name. It is called result. Here, I will take the first variable, 
the, the value in the first variable times with star the value in the second variable and put semicolon but now what is in the first and in the second is being considered as text because it is coming from a textbook so i have to change it into a number for it to be multiplied to change it into a number you just put it in the function called pass int which is also a function which is a, it is a javascript function already defined for you then even this one to change it to, into a number put pass int like that so we are changing them we are changing second and first into numbers then we are multiplying them here and we are keeping the result inside this variable called result the next thing now we want to put the, the result to be shown in this paragraph here and this paragraph has a name it is called this so i'm just going to to, to copy that the name of that paragraph here i will just say document which means go to the document get element by id then you put what then i copy paste i paste the the name of the paragraph and i close that bracket like this so document dot get element by id uh, then once you get that id answer do this to it in a html it means open it and go to its inner html and give it the value in the result so i'm going to copy this control c to copy then i'm going to put that variable here and close with quote all lines in javascript end with semicolon so what does this mean pick what is in the result and go to an element with id answer open its in html and give it the value of this result so i'm going to save this the next thing i want is to run this function when a button is clicked so i will just come to my button here the button is with the, the one of type submit and say on click on click run the following function so i will come and copy the function's name here together with the bracket control c and paste the function name here like that and i'm going to save now i will run this uh, web page to refresh it then we are going to test our calculator so after refreshing the web page i can now try with two numbers i can put here 100 and five then click multiply button you can see the answer has come 500 i can even change this to 300 and i put here 60 then i click multiply you can see uh, the answer has appeared that is it go ahead and try it and see you again in the next lesson